In a world where billionaires chase bigger, louder, faster, one aircraft did the unthinkable. It went smaller. Picture an early morning runway. A soft mist clings to the tarmac as sunlight spills across polished aluminum. Then a whisper cuts through the silence, the sound of a single jet engine faint yet commanding. From the haze, a silhouette emerges, sleek, compact. Unlike anything that should be called a jet, this is the Cirrus Vision Jet, a two doubles, three million masterpiece that redefines what private flight means in the modern age. This isn't another status symbol for the elite. Here it's the jet that dares to make private aviation personal. A flying revolution designed not for oligarchs, but for innovators, for those who value freedom more than flaunt it. If you believe the future of luxury isn't about owning more, but owning smarter, welcome to Luxury Enigma. Subscribe and step inside a world where design meets destiny. The story begins far from billionaire boardrooms in the frozen hangars of Duluth, Minnesota. In the 1980s, two brothers, Alan and Dale Klapmeyer, refused to accept that private flight had to be dangerous or exclusive. Their vision was simple yet radical, make flying safer and more accessible for everyone. Decades later, their dream would evolve into something extraordinary. After 10 years of design sketches, test flights and engineering heartbreaks, Cirrus Aircraft unveiled the world's first single-engine personal jet, a machine compact enough for a driveway, yet powerful enough to outrun a storm. They called it the Vision Jet, Seven seats, one engine, and enough technology to make commercial airliners look outdated. But this isn't just a story of aerodynamics, it's a story of democratization. Because for the first time, private flight was no longer a symbol of untouchable wealth. It became a gateway, a bridge between luxury and possibility. The Vision Jet invited doctors, founders, and self-made dreamers to claim their own sky. Under its skin lies the beating heart of innovation the Williams International FJ33 turbofan, pushing this small wonder to 345 knots, roughly 640 kilometers per hour, across 1,200 nautical miles. That's enough range to glide from New York to Miami or from London to Istanbul without refueling. At just 30 feet in length and 38 feet across the wings, it's small enough to fit in private hangars where no other jet could. Yet its presence commands awe. Step inside, and the narrative shifts. A sweeping panoramic canopy floods the cabin with light. Handcrafted leather seats contour to the body like sculpture. The cockpit, futuristic yet serene, features the Garmin Perspective Touch Plus system, blending touchscreen simplicity with cutting-edge avionics. It feels less like flying an aircraft and more like piloting an idea. But the true masterpiece isn't in its speed or design, it's in its safety. Cirrus built an aviation world first, a parachute for the entire jet. The Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, or CAPS, has saved over 250 lives. Pull one handle, and the entire aircraft glides safely to the ground. And yet, despite its innovation, it remains humble in price, just $2.3 million. In a sky dominated by $50 million Gulf Streams and $70 million Bombardiers, the Vision Jet feels almost rebellious. This isn't luxury you inherit, it's luxury you earn. A jet not for the few, but for the fearless. Imagine it now, dawn over the Pacific, the hum of the engine beneath you, clouds parting like silk. For the pilot inside, it's not just another morning, it's a reminder that freedom can be engineered. But beneath every revolution lies obsession. 10 years of sleepless nights, hundreds of prototypes that failed before one finally soared. The Klapmeyers weren't just building an aircraft. They were crafting trust, one rivet, one dream at a time, and that trust changed everything. In 2017, the Vision Jet won Collier Trophy Aviation's highest honor. The last time a newcomer received it? The Apollo Lunar Program. What began as a daring experiment soon evolved into something even bolder, the G2 Vision Jet. Engineers went back to the drawing board, not to fix what was broken, but to perfect what was possible. They raised the ceiling, literally. The new model climbs to 31,000 feet, cruising above the weather with a serenity that feels almost spiritual. Autopilot became more intuitive, the avionics more aware, and comfort more akin to a moving sky lounge than a cockpit. But the real breakthrough wasn't speed or altitude, it was autonomy. Cirrus introduced a feature that felt almost science fiction, safe return Autoland. One button, shimmering discreetly on the dashboard, 
Press it and the jet takes command. It calculates terrain, scans the nearest airfields, communicates with air traffic control, and lands itself safely, a private jet that could save lives all by itself. In a world chasing self-driving cars, Cirrus quietly built the first self-landing sky. For pilots, that button represents more than safety. It represents evolution, a merging of human ambition and artificial intelligence wrapped inside a carbon fiber sculpture that weighs less than a city car, yet crosses continents with grace. The G2 Vision Jet now commands around two ton, eight million, still a fraction of what traditional private jets demand. And yet it offers something money can't buy, independence. Over 500 jets now orbit the world's smaller airports, each owned not by dynasties, but by doctors, entrepreneurs, and visionaries who prefer silence over spectacle. From the air, it's not hard to see why. Look down from 30,000 feet, the chaos of highways, the clusters of cities, the noise of civilization fading beneath the clouds. Up here, time bends, minutes stretch. The world feels manageable again. That's the true power of the vision jet. Not the engine, not the numbers, but the feeling it sells control. Inside, every inch of the cabin whispers restraint. But no chandeliers, no gold trim, no champagne flutes clinking on marble counters. Just precision stitching, tactile controls, and a pilot seat that feels sculpted to your intent. It's luxury for the minimalist, a design philosophy where every curve earns its place. Cirrus understood that the future of wealth isn't louder, it's quieter. True luxury is invisible. It's measured in time reclaimed, not dollars spent. While other jets chase extravagance, the Vision Jet chases elegance. It doesn't scream success, it hums it. And that hum has become the new anthem of modern flight. A single-engine melody echoing from Florida to Switzerland, symbolizing an era where innovation belongs to those who dare, not just those who inherit. Think about it. The Gulfstreams may always rule the ultra-rich. The Boeings may forever serve royalty. But the Cirrus Vision Jet has created an entirely new class, the sovereign individual, a person who owns time itself. Because owning a Vision Jet isn't about flying above others, it's about escaping limits. It's about compressing continents into possibilities and transforming minutes into memories. As the jet glides through its final approach, imagine the horizon glowing amber, the clouds turning molten under the dying light. The turbine fades to a whisper, the landing gear sighs open and for a moment the world stands still. The pilot steps out, not as a passenger of luxury but as an architect of freedom. This isn't just an aircraft. It's proof that the smallest things can redefine the sky. If stories like this fascinate you, the quiet revolutions behind the loudest fortunes, subscribe to Luxury Enigma. Because the future of wealth doesn't always roar. Sometimes it flies silently on the wings of vision.